Hey guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies here at Tony's Di Napoli restaurant, uh, 43rd Street between uh, 6th and 7th Avenue. We heard a rumor that this is the best chicken parm in all of New York City and possibly all of the world. So we're here uh, on a Monday morning, rush hour lunch, uh, pretty busy and um, just going to sample the menu now and get right back to you. Hey guys, check out the beer, the, uh, the formal champagne style glass that comes in. I'm just going with the DC Diet Coke for lunch. And we're just putting in the order right now. It's like family style. So it's a big, big spaghetti and meatballs, big, uh, big chicken parm, and you just kind of like share it. It's old Italian family style. Okay. Do you guys want olive oil or anything for the, uh, for the bread? Go with butter? Okay. Yeah, good with the butter. All right, guys. First, uh, first appetizer up at Tony Di Napoli. We got uh, not mozzarella sticks, but mozzarella triangles. Uh, fried mozzarella with a little sauce on top, and uh, just gonna cut it right now. Put the camera down. And the thing I like about it already is it's filled with cheese. It's not all bread or all crust like at some places, so we'll just dip it in the sauce. Yeah, it's not like, it's well, not yeah. like super bready. That is good. Yeah, not super bready. Perfect consistency. So far, 10 out of 10. All right, guys, making the preparations, clearing the table uh, for the uh, the cornucopia of chicken parm and spaghetti and meatballs about to... Whoa, wowzers. Favorite chicken parm. Look at that in the... That garnishment, that is one big ass platter, I think you call it. And we should have the chicken parm up on deck. Actually, I see it right there. Can you guys see that? Whoa, yeah. And, oh, this is fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. And one thing about this place is uh, the presentation is on point. It almost looks like that plastic food that you see, like for in a display case at some places except this is the real the real deal and let's see we should have the chicken coming oh she's actually cutting it right now and just dividing it into family style pieces two pieces of chicken parm and yeah this is a lot of food now here it is guys, the completed uh, order. Two orders of chicken parm, one spaghetti and meatballs, one chicken alfredo, and they uh, cut the chicken parm for us. Um, fills up the entire table almost. So now here we go, we're just going to dive into it. I think I'm going to start off with a piece of chicken parm and maybe, uh, maybe a little bit of pasta. Now here's what we got brewing here guys. We got some uh, chicken parm, a little spaghetti. I'm going to wait on the meatball. I don't like to mix the chicken and the beef together. So first bite, um, first impression. You're part of YouTube. Oh yeah, that's right on point, guys. Guys, just wanted to show you some of the uh, decorations here. We're sitting with some celebrities. We got Whoopi Goldberg, AC Slater, Courtney Love, Alec Baldwin. Um, I guess these are people that have all come here for lunch at one time or another. And um, show you the big menu, kind of painted on the wall. It's uh, written in chalk, old, old Napoli style. A um, lot of choices, that's for sure. And as you can see, the portions are huge. Um, it's not like single serving. Just see what we got: chicken parmesan, twenty-eight dollars, but it serves three people, maybe four people, if uh, if they're eating like petite sizes. And then this is pretty cool. It's a fireplace, kind of like painted on the wall, but it's got like a real mantle. I like that. And then uh, chef holding an old Italian chef holding the uh, <coughs> the freshly grown apples, and then you got a bar in the front. But very nice, very very nice place. Uh, so far, 10 out of 10. And one other thing I want to throw in here: uh, not only the food, but the service has been top notch. Very very attentive. Um, so we'll see. We're, we're working on this. See if we can knock this out. I don't know if there's going to be room for dessert or not. But uh, get back to you in a little bit. Hey guys, John from Ron Menzies, and we're back here with the uh, review panel, and just want to get some of their comments. Uh, just, uh, what do you have to say about the uh, the chicken palm meatballs? What, what's your opinion here? Uh, I would definitely give the chicken palm a ten. By far the, the best the best dish I've had here. 
Um, uh, next would be the spaghetti, which I would also give a 10. Possibly the best spaghetti I've ever had. Homemade, fresh. Um, Alfredo, I would also give uh, give about it a 9.5. Then the uh, meatball, I'll give it an 8.5. Very good, just a little bit too dense for my liking, but uh, overall, I'll give the meal a 9.8. Alright, so 9.8 out of 10, that's not too bad. And how about you, sir? Is it, yeah, he, he's so full that he has nothing to say. It's a, so it was pretty good then, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, our, our final two members of the panel here, uh, what do you guys have to say? What would you, one out of 10, 10 being the best, uh, what would you say? The chicken parmesan, absolute 10. It's the best chicken parm I've ever had in my life. The chicken alfredo, I gave it a 9.75. And the spaghetti, a 10 as well. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I think it goes without saying we're, we're going to have to bestow this uh, restaurant, Tony DiNapoli, with our, uh, our, high, our highest honors. So here we go, guys. Another successful lunch at uh, Tony DiNapoli. And uh, 10 out of 10. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that. The lobster tank. Little bar area here and a little, uh, I guess you'd call it window nook. Um, so we'll get one more shot of the place from the outside, <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty much unanimous. Coming in. See the menu? Ten out of ten, guys. It was very good. Oh, thank you. And this is oh, they got like a digital style menu on the outside. Tony Di Napoli, right outside of the Casablanca Hotel. Um, <clears throat> So that's it, guys. Again, Jonathan Brown Menzies. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, anything else you want to see in New York City or anywhere else, uh, reviews, landmarks, whatever, uh, send me a message or leave it in the comments box. Take care.